This is episode three of uh, my Essential Information series. This one is entitled, Cooking with Prep. Now, most uh, of the uh, videos that I've seen on YouTube, and I watch them just like you do, what they do is they recommend buying a bag of Mountain House and dump water in it and eat uh, the dinner. Now, there's nothing the matter with Mountain House. I like it. However, you can do so much more than just take a bag that was designed by somebody else, and you basically have to like what they want you to like. Here, I've got some, uh, some various... Uh, uh, Items, I've got turkey tetrazzini, I've got freeze-dried mushrooms, I've got chicken stew, i got powdered egg, powdered butter, <clears throat> and a few other things. And what I'm going to do in this video is show you how to mix them, these and other items, and you can make some really good meals, and I eat them regular. I do not just pack it away for a rainy day. How do I know I like it when the rain comes? So... I eat it on a regular basis. I buy the food in bulk, try to get the best price I can. And the, the beauty of the, uh, the big cans is there's no waste. When you're done, you can take the can and use it for storage because it's airtight. So we're going to start with breakfast, then we're going to do lunch, and then we're going to do dinner. Now I've recommended that you buy your um, freeze dry in number 10 cans. But you're going to be generally using them when the power's out. And if the power's out, your electric can opener won't work. And so you would get a little tiny crank can opener and try to uh, open up the big cans. What I would recommend is you go on eBay and look for one of these. This is a can o mat can-o-mat made in the 20s, 30s, and 40s. And this has all the features of the modern uh, can opener. It has a magnet that will hold the top. It cuts cleanly. It does not leave a sharp edge inside. A hundred years ago, or 90 years ago, this can opener had all the features that a so-called modern can opener does. <clears throat> now this one, when you're not using it, it'll swing out of the way. This is where it traditionally was in our house uh, 90 years ago on the same cabinet. So you bring it up, rock your uh, uh, handle backwards, the blade comes up, it goes into place, then the, it comes down, and then all you have to do is just like this. Now isn't that a whole lot easier than working one of those hand units? And when you're done and it clicks, you rack it back there's your lid, no sharp edge. This is a can mat. I recommend it for opening big cans. They are superior to a modern can opener. Okay, for breakfast, we're going to start off the day right with golden malted uh, waffle and pancake mix with freeze-dried blueberries. We will add uh, Future Essentials powdered butter to that and Future Essentials powdered whole egg. <clears throat> After that, because Kyle wanted a full breakfast, we're going to do 
Emergency Essentials scrambled egg mix for him. Okay, to mix up the pancakes, or the waffles in this case, we take, for one big waffle, we take half a cup of the mix, and then what we're going to do is we're going to take a little bit of the powdered butter. You don't really have to be terribly accurate. You just want to get some in there. And now we've got the powdered egg. And then you're going to mix that together add some uh, water and then you've got to let the blueberries hydrate for 10 minutes before you can uh, I'm making a mess here before you can uh, put it on the griddle okay to do Kyle's scrambled eggs <clears throat> you have to take uh, a quarter cup of the uh, scrambled egg mix the emergency essentials <clears throat> and throw some butter in. Now I have done this two ways. I used to mix the butter with water and then put it in the pan and then put the egg in. But it it just doesn't taste right. So I'm adding the butter to the, uh, the egg mixture. And then you put in a third of a cup of uh, water and then that's got to be mixed to get your scrambled egg mixture. And if you do it right, it's pretty close to scrambled egg. Okay, so with our uh, <clears throat> Lodge number no. 8 high boy waffle iron, nice and hot, we're going to put a little cooking spray on it and pour our mixture out onto the iron. Looks like I'm a little bit thin on waffle. And flip it over. If you put too much on, it blows out the side, so you're probably not going to end up with a perfect waffle, but it's a whole lot easier to clean up. So we'll just let that cook for a couple minutes, then we'll flip it over and have a look-see, and uh, the waffle will be ready, hopefully. Okay, <clears throat> we flipped it. We're going to open it up, see what we got. Oh, that looks really good. The hotter you get it, the crisper it gets. Now these are, uh, what are they called? I think they're Echo uh, Ice Tongs. But they're really good for pulling your waffle out. Doesn't get much better than that, guys. Okay, now for Kyle's eggs. <clears throat> you get your pan good and hot. I prefer stainless steel as opposed to cast iron. For this anyway. Give it a little spritz. Get the egg mixture out. And we'll start moving it around. Okay, it's beginning to uh, turn into uh, something here. And that's just about right. You don't want to go cook it too far. Okay, waffles are plated. The uh, <clears throat> scrambled egg is plated. And if Kyle would come from behind the camera, he could eat. Next will be lunch. Okay, for lunch... We're going to have chicken and vegetable soup. This is a recipe that we created here in the lab. You start with Emergency Essentials Mixed Vegetables, Emergency Essentials uh, Freeze-Dried Mushrooms, Future Essentials Freeze-Dried Tomatoes, Future Essentials Dillweed, 
little bit of better than bouillon chicken base, about a half a teaspoon. And for the chicken, chunk chicken and natural juice, MRE. Then you're going to use uh, one and an eighth cups of cold water. Put everything in except the chicken. Bring it to a boil. Simmer it for 10 to 15 minutes. Couple minutes before you're ready to serve, you open up your package, dump the chicken and the juice in, and you will have a very good soup, as you will see. Okay, we're going to start off with our cold water on the uh, kerosene burner. Now that doesn't look like much, but that will just bloom and expand and expand and expand. So now we got the mushrooms. And the tomatoes. There is tomatoes in the uh, in the vegetable uh, mix, but we like quite a bit more. Then you got some dill for flavor. We like dill. Then we're going to take just about that much of the uh, soup base or the bouillon base. Get that all nice and hydrated in there. Put the top on. We're going to bring it to a boil and simmer it for 10 to 15 minutes. And a couple minutes before then we will add the chicken and you will have a really good uh, uh, chicken soup. Uh, everything rehydrates and it tastes so fresh and the MRE chicken is very good and we've made it numerous times and it's requested by the uh, staff here. Okay, let's take a quick look here. <clears throat> oh yeah, we're bubbling right along. Notice how it's thickening up as everything is getting hydrated. Got a few more minutes to go. Okay, it has been uh, 12 minutes and I'm going to take the top off. Got to use enough gloves so I don't get burnt. Take my chunk chicken. Make sure I get all the juice, all the goodness. Alrighty, there we go. So now that gets mixed into the uh, soup. Top is put on and we'll give it two minutes and then it'll be ready to eat. Okay, it's been two more minutes. So we're going to turn the kerosene stove off, <clears throat> lower the wick, open it up. There's what we got. I'm going to pour it out. You can hear it's good and hot. You can see the steam probably. Okay, there is chicken and veg. Now if you wanted more water you could have added more initially. I like it a little bit thicker. And to finish off that uh, meal of, of the chicken and veg, how about uh, a lemon poppy seed pound cake, MRE, MRE trans fat free. There we go. <clears throat> that is our lemon poppy seed pound cake. It's good as it is, but if you take some uh, hot chocolate mix <clears throat> and mix it up into a, a frosting and spread it over the top, you can make a ranger cake. And that's very good, the lemon and the chocolate together. So anyway, that's our lunch. And next up will be our dinner. Okay, for dinner, what we're going to have is Mountain House freeze-dried turkey tetrazzini with some uh, emergency essentials uh, 
freeze-dried mushrooms. So to start off, this uh, the uh, instructions on here tell you to put uh, three quarters of a cup of boiling water. So I've gone seven eighths because the mushrooms are going to absorb a lot of water. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put this on the kerosene stove and bring it to a boil. Okay, while we're waiting for the water to boil, this is uh, Mountain House Turkey Tetrazzini. It has uh, asparagus, turkey, spaghetti in a, in a sauce. It's been discontinued, but you can find it if you look for it. So I've got one cup. Put it in my bowl. I've got the Emergency Essentials Mushrooms, about a quarter cup. And just wait for the water to boil. Okay, your water is now boiling, as you can see. So I will shut the heat off per the directions. I will pour in my mixture like that, mix it up, there we go, it's mixed, put the top back on, take my mechanical timer, and set it for about five minutes. At five minutes, I will mix it. I will set it for four minutes, mix it again, then it'll be ready to eat. That'll be our main course. All righty. <clears throat> yes, thank you. So let's see what we've got here. That looks pretty good. Scoop that out. So there is our main meal. Turkey Tetrazzini with uh, freeze-dried mushrooms. One thing I should mention about the Turkey Tetrazzini, it is not, in the stuff that comes in the number 10 cans is not the same as what comes in the freeze-dried pouches for the military. They add more salt, they add more fat, they add more calories and this is not only, it doesn't only really taste good and it's low in, in salt, it's a lot healthier than the the military uh, version unless you're humping it through the boonies uh, I guess then they would like it that like that but if you're not you definitely want to consider the number 10 can version. Okay, and here is dessert. This is cherry blueberry cobbler. It's an MRE. There's what it looks like. I know it looks a mess when it comes out of the pouch, but it tastes very, very good and it's highly uh, uh, sought after by uh, the troops. Now the reason why I did this video is I don't want you guys just to buy this kind of prep just a turkey dinner in a bag from from Mountain House and go ahead and put water in it and heat it up and eat it and that's your dinner and nothing else if you mix your your preps you can come up with much better meals in my opinion and I eat this stuff regular uh, I don't want to be surprised when uh, there is a, a disaster that I buy something and I don't eat it and I put it away, then I take it out and I hate it. I want to eat it along. I buy the stuff in bulk. I buy it on sale. I try to get reduced or free shipping. That cuts down the, the cost. And yes, this stuff is more expensive than food you go to the grocery store, but unlike the food in the grocery store, this stuff there is no waste. You use every bit of it. 